Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So finally, Elon Musk has released GOG 4 and they are saying that it is the world's most powerful AI model. But is it really powerful? Because you see that I have found some of the feedback from the community and one person is saying that wrong. GOG 4 is overhyped and people will see that soon. Why doesn't it manage to create a complete Tetris game with a single prompt unlike Gemini? So this person given the same prompt to Gemini, one single prompt, it created the same Tetris game, but this GOG 4 was unable to do that with the same prompt. And not only that, here you see that this person, I hope many of you know this person because he is the creator of Clot Engineering that we are using. And I, I have also created many videos regarding this Clot Engineer and here you see. Okay, and uh, also he worked previously in Uber and uh, Facebook, etc. etc. And he is also saying that GOG 4 is mostly okay at designing, not that super okay. And here you see, Cloud 4 still comes out on top here. And here you see, this is the design created by GOG 4. And if I show you, the same design is created by Cloud 4. Here you see. It is actually amazing. Means for this coding purpose, this GOG 4 is not uh, beating this CLOT models or this GPT models. We know that for the coding purpose, CLOT 4 models are the best one till now. But uh, this GOG 4 doesn't have that much capability to beat this CLOT 4 model in coding. And uh, here you see that one person is written, I think they did mention a coding model. And yes, this is the twist that you have to understand. They have mentioned that they have released this GOG 4 and this model is perfectly for the complex reasoning purpose, not for coding. So they will release their next coding model on August. Remember this thing means in, on the, in the next month, they will release their coding model. And uh, then again in September, they will release this multi-model agent. And then in October, they will release this video generation model. Okay, so don't use this GOG 4 as a coding purpose. So if you use that, then you will not get the best output. This is my experience and my opinion. And you can try that. So also Elon Musk is saying that you can cut and paste your entire source code file into the query entry box on gog.com and gog4 will fix it for you and this is what everyone at uh, that xi does works better than cursor elon musk is saying that it is works better than the cursor means if you go to their platform this gog.com where is that this is the platform and there if you select this gog4 here so to use this gog4 currently you have to upgrade and uh, you, if I click on this upgrade, now it will show you the pricing plan. So if you see that uh, for this GOG 4, you have to pay $30 amount. Okay, $30 per month amount. This free model, you will get access to only GOG 3. But to get access to this GOG 4, you have to pay. And then you will get access to this Super GOG. And they have released another model, which is GOG 4 Heavy. And this is also available under this Super GOG Heavy. Okay, so I will discuss about the pricing later. But uh, this is confirmed that if you want to use this GOG 4, then you have to pay. And uh, Elon Musk is saying that if you just copy or uh, the cut and paste your entire source code in this GOG, uh, then it will act like a cursor. And uh, the thing is that you have to also remember the context window length. So currently the context window length, if I show you that uh, this context memory is 128k token. Remember these things. Okay. But uh, as I have already mentioned and I, I have given, I have got some of the feedbacks from the AI community that they are also uh, telling that GOG 4 still is not ready for coding, but I suspect it will be game over by the time they release their coding model. And uh, the thing is that if you see that uh, some days ago I made a video on this, uh, on this GPT-5 that uh, the Sam Altman told us that in the summer they will release their GPT-5 and uh, this GPT-5 also get delayed by a few months because GOG 4 released uh, and uh, they are saying that they are completely beating the other 
GPT models. Here, if you see, this is the ARC AGI benchmark, and they are saying that uh, this cloud opus 4, O3, O4, and cloud 4 models are here. Gemini models are here, but cloud 4 is here. Okay, it is completely beating the other models. And not only that, uh, on this ARC AGI, there are many others uh, benchmarks that I have shown you. Uh, this is the benchmark like humanity last exam uh, HLE. This is also a benchmark and there you see that GORG4 is beating the others model like O3 and Gemini models. And there are other benchmarks like AIME and um, GPQA. By the way, let me explain you in detail that what are these benchmarks means and uh, why these are important. And this person is actually explained in a better way. You see that uh, ARC AGI2. This is a benchmark and double Claude Opus 4 score. So Claude Opus 4 score, uh, let's say 60, then this Cork 4 is actually scoring double than this Claude Opus 4. And uh, this humanities last exam that I have already shown you, this is the benchmark, this exam. Okay. And they are telling that this test is so hard that no human can pass it. And PhD level questions are there and uh, this with this tool score uh, 44 percent versus o3 with tool score 24 percent means this gorg 4 model is actually beating the other models for this uh, humanities last exam uh, because it is scoring 34 percent and also on this ai me benchmark it is it got 100 percent and this ai me is one of the exam used to find the teams for the international mathematics olympiad and there a, this cog 4 model scored uh, this 100 percent you see that how much it is powerful in case of reasoning again i am telling you that cog 4 is not for the coding purpose it is based for the reasoning purpose complex reasoning purpose means if you give it some phd level question some reasoning uh, question then 100 percent sure that it will give you the best output and also if i show you another interesting thing uh, what is that Yes, this is the thing. So one person has written that um, hit my daily limit on GOG4 already. And uh, um, first impression is cautiously optimistic and benchmarks are obviously insane. 50% 50 on ARC AGI2 is incredible. It solved all my hard problems that some AI had solved before, but could not solve any of the unsolved ones. Okay could not solve any of the unsolved ones. So it seems at least as good as O3, Gemini 2.5, Gorkthi combined, but I could not push the boundary yet. So he's saying that uh, he tested uh, the same question with the other models also, and they uh, gave the response, and this Gork4 also gave the response, but Gork4 cannot solve the unsolved ones. So with the other models, they, he actually tried that same question, but he didn't get the answer. And with this GOG4 also, he didn't find any answer. And uh, he's saying that almost 3 a.m. here. Cannot wait to test it for real tomorrow. Good night. And if you see, he has shared one of the question. And uh, uh, with this question, you see that uh, GOG4 taken 1330 second time. It, it is taking actually much time, right? So this is the things that i wanted to share with you and many people have given uh, many feedback and uh, one thing i want to tell you that gog4 now takes its place as smart enough to actually help with frontier research and uh, thus in my book has mainly caught up with openai so this model has a great capability to do the deep research to do the to solve the complex reasoning problems but this model is not ready yet for the uh, for the complex coding problem and also it is not at designing the websites so for that we have to wait this wait for this coding model and i will not recommend you to use this gop4 and if you want to use the use it uh, through API, then in that case, my always prefer choice is open router. So go to this open router and there search for GORG and there you will find this GORG4 and it, it will cost you around $3 per million input token and this output cost is 
fifteen dollar per million output token. It is same as the Claude uh, Sonnet four, the pricing and uh, blah blah blah. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you want to get this type of detailed analysis video. then don't forget to subscribe this channel and here you see that i have already published many videos regarding this ai tools ai coding so please watch that videos also and see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye